Check, check. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode. My name is Sam Sobey. Um, first and foremost, before we go any bit farther in the video, I wanna say this Saturday, Fish and More Outdoors, Murray, and myself, we're having a giant meetup at Shields in Fargo. This Saturday, December 14th at four o'clock, Shields, be there, be square. There's gonna be a bunch of other stuff going on. They have their ice fest, there's crazy deals, there's gonna be a bunch of guest speakers there, like guys like Jason Mitchell, whole bunch of other really cool stuff going on. So this Saturday, December 14th, four o'clock, be there. Okay, so moving along with the video. Uh, I think it was like a day or two ago, I was on the YouTubes, you know, just YouTubing. Uh, watching one of my favorite creators, Jay Siemens, and he had a really cool video. Uh, he was catching a bunch of walleyes. It was him, his wife Sam, his buddy Marcel, and then he also listed 10 awesome gift ideas uh, for Christmas for like an angler or anybody who's into, uh, I guess, winter activities. And I thought that was super cool. So I'll link that video down below if you wanna check that out. And I thought, I've got some really cool ideas that I could potentially share with you guys if you're looking for gift ideas for dads, brothers, loved ones, sisters, moms, anybody who goes outside specifically that likes to ice fish or maybe doesn't like to ice fish, these gifts might, um, I guess, tailor to your needs. So without further ado, let me get into the top 10 coolest gifts I think you could give someone this winter if they're a uh, winter person. Okay, here's a little disclaimer. This is in no specific order or anything like that. These are just 10 things I think I would love to get. All right, let's get into it. Gift idea number one, a glow ring from Vexlar. If your loved ones fish with a Vexlar, maybe they fish with any other type of flasher, a really cool addition you can put on it is this glow ring. I don't know if you can see this well, but it basically hooks up to your battery and it is a UV light. So if you fish at night and you've got a bunch of these tunks and jigs that glow, no more forgetting flashlights or anything like this. This glow ring straps right to your unit. You put your jig in there, glows it on up. It's just a really like quirky, cool addition that I wish I would have invented because I needed that like 10 years ago. Either way, awesome gift idea. Cool gift idea number two. Uh, if your loved one is kind of more of a hardcore angler, they might not fish in the house much. They do a lot of walk-in missions. Um, they do a lot of hole hopping. This gift would be awesome for them. This is the Clam Ultimate Ice Backpack. It's Freaking sweet. I don't know if hopefully you guys can catch this in the frame. It's a big giant backpack. It has a hard bottom on it. You can set it down on the ice. It's pretty rugged. There's tons of pockets, sunglass holders. There's tons of compartments up in here. I won't go into full detail. Just know this sucker is giant. It's made of some pretty high durable stuff being that it's gonna be outside. Along with that, on the side of it comes a, like, a single or double rod holder over here. So you can take that off, throw it on your back, strap it to your backpack. This is just like the hardcore ice anglers backpack they need all in one. Present idea number three. Whether your loved one doesn't have one or if they do have one, this is a gift idea where it can never hurt to have two, especially if you do trips way up north, uh, you get stranded somewhere. It's good to have a backup buddy heater. Here's a Mr. Buddy heater. You guys have seen these, you know these. Um, I don't even really know if they have competition. This is the best heater I've ever found. Uh, they make a whole bunch of heaters. This is a single one. They make like a big buddy. They make really tiny ones. They make garage heaters. Uh, I'll link everything down below. I've, I've got tons of Mr. Buddy stuff because they're pretty freaking awesome gear. So yeah, Mr. Buddy heater. This single one will basically, it'll heat like a small flip over shack or a decent sized hub. And then your double buddy or your big buddy heater, that'll heat like a giant hub, a giant shack, heat your garage. Um, yeah, these things, they kick out heat. So buddy heater. That's a good gift idea. Gift idea number four. This gift is for anybody who lives in the Midwest. It doesn't matter if you like ice fishing or anything to do with the outside. Uh, you're gonna have to go outside at some point and you wear your boots, your boots get wet. This is a boot dryer. I don't exactly know what this retails for. I don't know all the brands that make them. Uh, this is a peat dryer one. Nobody really knows how these suckers work because you plug them in, you don't even like turn a switch on, you put your boots on them and then morning comes and they're just dry and kind of warm. So these suckers are incredible. I always keep one of these in my car and then uh, my family, we have a bunch inside. So if you live in the Midwest, if you live around snow, slush, rain, anything, a boot dryer is like A1. A1 to have a boot dryer, so. Gift idea number five. There's a huge trend going on right now where people are starting to realize that ice rods really do matter. So people are buying really quality reels and really quality rods to ice fish with. 
So a good addition to that is if your loved one has nice rods or has a bunch of rods, is to get them a quality rod box here. Uh, the worst thing you can do is buy a really expensive rod that you love and then you put it in a pail, you walk out ice fishing, it gets flipped over and breaks and then you're just like, I just bought a hundred dollar rod and broke it in a week. So get a nice rod bag, this is the one I use. They make a whole bunch of rod bags out there on the market from tons of different companies. This one holds four rods, it's got hard plastic tubing on the inside, it's like varied so that your rods can all fit in there with their reels. It's pretty cool, it's got some pockets. There's a bunch of rod cases out there on the market. I've also owned like fully hard cased ones that are made out of really durable like plastic or roto mold stuff. I loved that one too. You can chuck that in the back of the truck and throw your house on top of it. So rod box, if your loved one has many or expensive rods, that's a great present option. Present number six, tackle box. So this is a soft case tackle box I like to have. Um, this holds all my plastics and then my small jig box. So on one side of this, I don't know if you can see it or not, this zips open. And this is where I keep all my panfish plastics. If you or your loved ones into pan fishing a lot, they probably like plastics, they probably have a bunch of them. This holds all my plastics, keeps them organized in like a binder style format. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty money. On the other side of the tackle box, um, it's got a bunch of other pockets where I keep like pliers, different junk like that. But this is where I keep like my traditional tackle box. And uh, if you have a lot of expensive tunks and jigs, go out there and buy yourself a nice tackle box. Not one that shakes around that they can fly out. Like buy a nice one you stick the hooks into, they all stay organized. And each one of these tunks and jigs are super expensive. So buying a tackle box that isn't made for them is just kind of an injustice to the jigs that you bought. So awesome tackle bag, awesome tackle box. These are great gifts to get loved ones, especially if they're into pan fishing. Present number seven. So it doesn't matter if your loved ones have five, 10, 50 of these suckers, this is a gift that you can give them and nobody ever complains about. If I ever get a gift like this, I'm always like, yes, thank you, because you misplace them, you borrow them out to buddies, they break, what have you. These are an awesome gift. What I'm talking about is tip ups. So this is a beautiful thermal tip up. This is a traditional like long wood tip up in here is the iFish Pro 2.0. Number one, this is like your traditional tip up. It's big, it's hardy, it's wood. Um, it's got your spool on the bottom. It's got your traditional flag. These are really good tip ups. I love these because you can like chuck them to the back of the truck. They never ever break. On the flip side, I love a thermal tip up. And what this is, is it basically covers your whole entire hole. They don't freeze up as fast. They have little compartments in them. I'll link these down below. Both great tip ups. And if your loved one has one or the other, get them a different one. Try something new. And last but not least, your iFish Pro 2.0. Uh, this is super cool. You've seen these in the videos before. It's basically just like these tip ups, except instead of these coming with a spool, your spool is your rod and your reel that you already have. So you rig that up into this, fish pulls it, flag goes up, you grab your rod and reel, you fight the fish on rod and reel. Super cool. Uh, you guys have seen these in the videos. What's the difference between the 1.0 and the 2.0? Uh, I'm sure there's some other key features, but basically the 2.0 is thermal insulated, so your hole doesn't freeze up as fast. That's probably the only problem they have with these is basically your line freezing in there, but this is fixed with the 2.0 now. So check these out. Tip ups, tip ups, tip ups. You can never go wrong getting your loved ones tip ups. Present idea number eight. So I get direct messages all the time on Instagram, like uh, my son or daughter is going way up north for this trip, or my husband's going to Red Lake, I'd like to get him something for Christmas, or just, I get messages all the time about stuff like this, like what would you get this person for Christmas? Uh, they're super into ice fishing. And this is an idea that not many people think about, but a good pair of gloves is like the best gift you could get somebody. And it doesn't matter if they have a pair of gloves already, this is always a good gift because you lose them, misplace them, they get wet. Uh, packing one, two, three pairs of gloves on a trip is a must. So these are like ice armor gloves by Clam, they're agility gloves. There's a ton of awesome gloves out there on the market. Either way, uh, the more you pay for gloves, probably the better product you're gonna get. So gloves are definitely not a cheap present, but uh, it'd be a great present. Gift idea number nine. So gift idea number nine, uh, this is definitely expensive, but I need to talk about it, it's super cool. I use this all summer and definitely all winter. Um, this is my Dakota Lithium Power Pack. So I don't exactly know what it retails for, but it's, it's expensive, but it's really nice. So inside they have a, a 12 volt lithium battery and I think two batteries come with it. So in the back of my Vexlar, 
I actually have a lithium battery if you can see that. They're extremely light and manageable and they hold their charge like forever. So that's one plus to them. Uh, this power pack is super cool because uh, it comes with two terminal ports up here. So like I'll plug in my lights to it over my house. I'll plug my camera into this. Uh, it has lights right here. Everything's wired to switches up here. You have your switches for like your main power, these two terminal ports. Uh, there's like a car charger port right here. And there's also just like USB ports, two of them right here. This battery lasts super long. Uh, in the winter time when it's extremely cold out, I plug my big camera into that. I plug my GoPro batteries into that. I plug my phone into that. Uh, this is like, if you go on adventures, summer, winter, anywhere, and you just need power, this is a pretty cool, unique gift that um, I think maybe many of you haven't seen. So that's why I mentioned it. So Dakota Lithium, I'll link them down below. Super, super sweet deal. Alrighty, gift idea number 10. Last but not least, um, these, are, these are a little bit higher priced items. Uh, whether you can afford them or not, this is something that you could potentially talk about with your loved ones or maybe surprise them or help them chip in on it if they're looking to get one. Um, awesome gift ideas are obviously an ice house and a Vexlar. And I know what you're thinking, ice houses cost a ton of money, Vexlars cost a ton of money. Absolutely, I totally agree 100%. But there's some options you have out there. So first off, we'll start with houses. Uh, two traditional houses that people ice fish with, like portable ice houses I mean, are your flip over like clam type shack that just flips right over. They come from like one to six man. I don't even know. Either way, that's a great option. The other option is like your hub house and that's super, super simple. It folds up into a bag and it pops out like this. I'll show a picture of a hub house here. I'll show a picture of your traditional flip over house here. And uh, these are both good options. If you're not looking to buy brand new, uh, when I was 15, 16, 17 years old, I bought houses every single year off Craigslist. So look in your local area. People are selling houses all the time. People upgrade and they just flip their houses right on Craigslist and um, there's usually good deals out there. So if you're fishing with just a couple people, I would choose like a flip over shack. It comes with a sled in the bottom. If you have a bunch of friends and you want a lot of space, maybe to put up a table, play cards, have fun, I'd maybe choose a hub style house. So moving forward, last but not least, uh, is my Vexlar flasher right here. I have a FLX 28. They make everything from an eight to a 28. There's a bunch of different key features in between there for each unit. Uh, I'll link everything down below. There's cool videos online and on their website you can watch about the key differences between them. But uh, a Vexlar is like, it stinks. It's expensive, it's extremely nice, worth every bit of the money and I would never ice fish without it. It just stinks because you like need one, you know what I mean? Uh, if you ice fish a lot, you know what I'm talking about. If you go out there without a flasher, you cannot see the depth, you cannot see the fish underneath you. You're basically just like watching paint dry at that point. So I understand these cost a bunch of money. So if you'd like to get your loved one this year, uh, there's two options I would suggest to you. Uh, option number one, go to their website, learn about each unit, find the one that would potentially fit either your price range, budget, or just what you're looking for. Um, from there, if you don't wanna pay full price, they have a recondition page where people will either like sell their old ones or they'll just have reconditioned units. Uh, there can be really good deals on those. So make sure you check that out. Option number two, back to Craigslist. I bought my first three Vexlars off Craigslist. Old FL8s, uh, and then I think I bought a FL12. Dudes take super good care of these. They just wanna upgrade to like a 28, so they have no other option but to sell it. A lot of them sell them on Craigslist, so check out Craigslist. Check out vexlar.com, check out their recondition page. This is something that like, if you really think you're gonna spend a lot of time on the ice fishing this year, you need one, hands down. So, and that's it. In no specific order, those are 10 gift ideas that hopefully either trips your guys' trigger or sparks an idea. Um, if you have loved ones that love to ice fish just to be outside, uh, I'm sure there's something here that they could potentially use. If not, I'll link Jay's video down below. Jay had 10 awesome ideas as well, so watch his video, subscribe to him. He's one of my favorite YouTubers as well. And uh, yeah, I don't know what's left to be said. I'm super pumped for this weekend. Fargo's gonna be an awesome meetup. Uh, if you live up in Canada, if you live in the Dakotas, doesn't matter, come out to Shields Ice Fest, come to the meetup, it's gonna be cool. There's gonna be guest speakers there, like I said. It's gonna be really, really cool. So, just a reminder, Saturday, four o'clock, December 14th, um, be at Shields, Fargo, North Dakota. So yeah, I don't know what's left to be said. Thank you guys so much for all the support this ice season. Uh, myself, Murray, my buddies, we've got big ice fishing trips planned. So there's a lot coming down the chute, so stay glued. 
We've been filming our butts off and um, the support has been incredible from you guys. So thank you so much and thank you for watching this video from start to finish. I know this isn't a traditional video usually we're fishing, but I thought this would be a good idea right before the holidays to maybe spark some ideas for you guys. But uh, yeah, thank you again. I guess there's nothing left to be said than stay tuned and as always, let the adventure begin. See ya. Oh my pretty babe, something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead.